I've always wanted to be an MTI, ever since basic. Flight 426, led by Staff Sergeant Alexandria Washington. My name is Staff Sergeant Alexandria Washington, and my squadron is 324 Training Squadron. I arrived here last January. I started MTIS, and then after that, I had my training qualification, and I've been a certified line instructor for a year. During graduation, my mom came, and my grandma came, and they seen a female MTI, and they fell in love. And the first thing my mom told me is, I want you with that hat on. And that's where my focus was ever since I started. It all became real once I got that email. So me being selected that first time, it means a lot because I know all the instructors here, they're proficient at their job. They're the best of the best. To wear that hat, to walk down the street and know that the Air Force selected me is awesome. It's both different and exactly what I expected, um, only because you watch the YouTube videos, you see all the MTI videos and stuff like that. And then coming through basic, you have this kind of preconceived notion about what an instructor is. But once you step here and you have interactions with trainees, you have interactions with other instructors and it puts everything in perspective. Once I'm at work, I'm locked in. I'm in full work mode. Um, but once I leave on the ride home, I try to get all the work off so that when I get home, I can dedicate my time at home to family. So most times I'll leave my hat in the car so that I'm not bringing the instructor inside of my home. Uh, family number one, they motivate me to keep going because they want me to be here. Um, I have a, a very good support system at home and what motivates me the most probably is the trainees, hearing their stories, hearing their background, the stuff they've been through. A lot of these trainees don't have anything to go back home to. So it makes you as an instructor, even when you're tired, um, even when you have your own stuff going on, once you get here, you're in full work mode, you're in full instructor mode because you know they need you sometimes even more than you think. Because sometimes I come to work and I have you know my own personal stuff going on. I may be tired, I may be like, man, I don't feel like going in today. Um, but knowing that the moment I step through this door, I'm their first interaction with, you know, what the U.S. Air Force stands for. Uh, it means, it's a cliche answer, but it means the world. Um, I've had trainees try to kind of copy how I wear my uniform or how I speak or like the little things that I say. And so uh, knowing that I do myself a favor and I do them a favor by always staying on my toes and always staying on top. Don't think twice, just do it. Um, it's by far the most rewarding job I've ever had. Once you get here, you'll see how impactful it is to other people and yourself, especially once you get these interactions um, with trainees, hearing their stories, hearing where they come from. When I got selected, I kind of pondered back and forth in my head, is this really, really what I want to do? Um, and then I gave 100% of myself to it. And now that I'm here, I don't regret it at all. I don't.